From Upper Michigan Source, this is your Sports Eye of the Band for Tuesday, November 6th. I'm Mike Ludlum. The high school volleyball season has reached the regional round. Calumet has certainly won its share of regionals through the years. Manistique would like to try and get one, and those two teams met last night at Marquette Senior High School. And it didn't take long for the action to be pretty darn furious. Alyssa Jerf Akaimet in the far court is going to get roofed right there. And Manistique would take an 8-4 lead in set number three. Each team had won a set. Kayla Muth with the service ace. Emeralds up 19-9. Copper Kings get a run going though. And Molly Larson puts this one away. And all of a sudden, Calumet is down by just three at 21 to 18. Set point for the green and white, and Emily McDaniel will get a service ace. Manistique won this set 25-19, go on to win the match three sets to one. At the moment, the Emeralds will host Traverse City St. Francis in the regional final Thursday. The Gladiators defeated Rogers City three to one. Let's go to Division 4 over at Westwood High School. Wakefield Marinisco on the red taking on Carney Nato. First set action. Allison LaRock's pass goes long and Ashlyn Hansen takes advantage with the tip. Wolves up 12-11. For the Cardinals, Marissa Massey puts one where the Wolves can't return it. We're tied at 15. Move the tide at 18. Sarah Wazalewski with the ace and Wakefield Marinisco takes the lead 19-18. On set point, Ashlyn Hansen with the set. Lala, Layla Blahnik tuned for the kill, but Wakefield Marinisco is rejoicing because the kill attempt went long. However, Carney Nato stormed back to win the next three sets and took the match three sets to one. In the other regional semifinal, Lakeland and Hubble is in the near court. McKenna Karenin, Jamie Hendrickson, Mackenzie LePage, and her tip will not be returned by the Munising Mustangs. The three Lakes seniors combined for a point. However, here comes Munising. Taylor Downs, Emily Contreras, Michaela Warner. She was hitting the ball on the floor early and often in this match. In fact, according to the Munising stats, 28 kills. Next for Lakeland and Hummel, Mariah Wilmer will get this one to settle down nicely. But the Lake still trailed 19 to 10 in the first set. Munising won the first set 25 to 15. And it will be Munising against Carney Nato in the regional final as Munising defeated Lakeland and Hubble three sets to one this regional final Thursday at 7 o'clock Eastern time at Westwood High School. To the scoreboard over in Division 4 out at Mackinac City. The Eastern UP goes 1-1. One and one. Rudyard blanks Pelston 3-0 and it was Ottaway over Pickford 3-0 and they will also play on Thursday. In Division 2 over at Manistique High School, it was Kings Lee defeating Kingsford three sets to none. The Michigan Back Tech volleyball team has made it to the postseason, a 22-5 overall record, 14-2 in the conference. The Huskies have clinched the number two seed in the Gliat Conference Tournament. Ferris State is the top seed. Tech will host number seven Grand Valley State tomorrow night, 7 o'clock at the SDC. The Huskies swept the Lakers in their first meeting at home earlier this season, but that does not mean much now. We like the matchup. We think we're... Um... We're, we could be the better team if we're playing well, and but you know this is an experienced team uh, in the playoffs. This is a program that knows you know how to navigate the postseason. And uh, while they maybe had uh, uh, somewhat of a down regular season, I'm not taking anything for granted here. This is a team that knows how to win. The last time the Huskies were GLIAC champions was way back in 1994. Again, the Huskies and Grand Valley State tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Newfoundlandia women's basketball coach Mariah LaPointe Dunham knows it will take a while for her players to gel as a unit. The Lions took the first step last Saturday at NMU. The Wildcats did not play a number of their top players in the game. You could still see Finlandia made progress in the second half, even though the scoreboard read NMU 79, Finlandia 38. We started to get back in transition. We started to do some things that we needed to do to limit their scoring um, opportunities. And they did exactly what uh, my staff had asked them to do, and, and that's all we can ask for. The sound of your defense coming through and forcing a shot clock violation is a sound every coach loves. 
Those are the moments when the players are catching on to your ideas. Mariah LaPointe Dunham knows she needs to count on guard Katie Lohman of Ishpeming. Lohman understands she must take charge on the court more than she did in high school. I definitely going to have to shoot a lot more. Coach D was just telling me that it's not high school anymore and I need to stop looking to pass so much and shoot the ball more. She's got to look for her shot in order for our other guards and our other posts to get, to get looks inside. So she's a very um, unselfish person. So if I show her, if she is more aggressive, it's in turn going to open someone else up. One player that will fit into that equation is Katie Lundeen of Maple, Wisconsin. Despite giving up six inches or more in height on some occasions, she figured out ways to score on the Wildcat defense. She's never seen anyone that looks like what Northern had to bring to the table. She has the outside jumper. She can take, we didn't get to put her in the post at all because she wasn't going to go against the 6'5 girls, but that's when she brought her outside game out. So I was very impressed with her. The Lions play three games in a four-day stretch at home starting this Friday against Calvin College at 6 p.m.